Hi kids, it's Mr. Bologno, and thanks for joining me. Today, I want to share the artwork of Paul Clay. We're going to find out more about him and do artwork based on one of his famous pieces next. Paul Klee is a Swiss-German artist who lived in Munich, Germany. There, not only did he do his art, but he also taught. During his time, there were many other artists who did art styles like Expressionism, Impressionism, Surrealism, and Abstract Art. He combined all of these types of styles and made it into his own. We're going to do an art piece based on one of his famous works called Cat and Bird. But before we do that, you know our friends Maddie and Dada? They met the famous Paul Clay. So check this out. Hey, Maddie, do you want to make puppets with me? And then we can put on a puppet show! I'd love to, Dada. But first, I want to do a painting about the dream I had last night. I dreamed you and I were flying over a river and trees. Ooh, sounds like a fun dream. Yes, but I can't figure out how to do the painting, how to get everything in it. I was just reading a book about an artist who made puppets. And he also did paintings about his dreams. Paul Clay, a painting of a cat? I wonder if he dreamed about a cat. Let's go find out! But I was just about to start my paint! Wow! Whoa! We're definitely in an artist's studio. Oh. There's something <gasps> strange about this studio. There sure is. Maddie, whoa, puppets. And they're moving on their own. <gasps> Very da da strange. Have you seen a cat? I'm looking for my cat. Impossible. My drawing has escaped from the paper. Something very strange is going on today. We think so too. Da da strange! Da da wow! Floating fish swimming in the air! Mr. Clay, you have the most unusual studio ever! Uh, it's not usually like this. <laughs> These are your puppets? <laughs> and they can fly! <laughs> it's like we're in a dream! Dreams! Of course! I bet I'm having a dream right now. I must be inside the dream. Da, I think we're inside Paul Clay's dream. You were talking about dreams as we came here. Da, da oops. Maddie wanted to see how Paul Clay painted dreams, and I wanted to see your puppets. Oh. The puppets! Dreams can inspire my hey. painting, but so does music and going places. So you paint whatever you feel like? Yes, but I don't paint at random. I have rules of composition. Rules of <laughs> composition? In every painting, there are some hidden lines that make it balance. That sounds difficult. Yes, if you think about it. But no, if the balancing lines are in your artist's eye. <laughs> what could be more balanced than eyes, hmm? One on each side. <laughs> so now, I must balance these. So what if I paint in eyeballs that point in opposite directions? <laughs> That's balanced. And then, I paint the sides of the cat's face and ears. And then for more balance, we have the cat's nose right in the middle. <laughs> Losing my balance! I found my balance! <laughs> and 
And that was how you made this painting? With balance? Yeah, <laughs> but it is like music. Not all the notes balance together. They are often different. In artwork, balance does not mean making both sides the same. It means harmonious, like a piece of music. All the different parts working together. The hidden lines in the painting are very simple, and they help to fill the whole canvas. And the oval shapes of the eyes. And the ears up at the top sides like triangles. And the nose is also shaped like a triangle. And then I put a bird at the top. It looks like the only thing on that cat's mind is the bird. And with the heart nose, I feel like the cat is happy that he likes the bird. <laughs> this is indeed a crazy dream. <laughs> but I still haven't found my <gasps> cat. There's my Fritzy. <laughs> it was fun visiting you, Paul Clay. But now we have to go. Danka. <laughs> for telling me about balance. Danke for helping to find my cat. <laughs> Auf Wiedersehen! I'm finished, Dada. Done. Thanks, Maddie and Dada, for introducing us to Paul Clay. Now that I have my sketchbook, I turned it horizontal, and I have a clean sheet in front of me. First thing we're going to do, as I always say, start with basic shapes. Now, Mr. Clay talked about balance in that video we just watched. So the first thing I want you to draw is a straight line right down the middle of your page. I have my handy ruler here, so I'm going to draw a straight line very lightly in the middle. Now that that's set, I am going to start with the eyes. To me, they look like a football shape, so I'm going to draw one on each side of that straight line. They don't have to be perfect, but it'll help me keep this picture very balanced. When I look at his original work, I see that the pupils of the eyes are oval shaped. So go ahead and do that. After you take care of the eyes, I then want you to draw triangles above the eye from each corner. That's going to serve as the cat's ears. If I'm going too fast, remember you can always pause this video so that you're all caught up. The next step is to draw the bottom part of the cat's face. So I'm going to draw a U underneath each eye. I stop at the straight line that I started off with at the beginning of this lesson. I noticed in the original work that Paul Clay does a very clever heart-shaped nose. Go ahead and do that. Then above the heart, I want you to draw the bridge of the nose You'll see I'm drawing a triangle that goes right to the corner of the eyes in the middle. Then, I can't forget the cat's mouth, so here I'm drawing a U right underneath that heart shape. To finish off the face, I am then adding whiskers. Don't forget about balance, so I'm going to draw three whiskers on each side of the heart shaped nose. Now that is looking good to me. Okay, I promised you there's a twist. Now, what's the twist? In Paul Clay's original work, the cat was thinking about a bird. As an artist, you have an option of doing whatever you think your cat is thinking about. A bird, a fish, a piece of pizza. It is up to you. Be creative with this. Hey! That's little Mr. Bologno, and he's thinking about pizza too. For my work, even though it's tempting to draw pizza, I'm thinking about that it's almost summertime because the weather's getting really nice. So the first thing I think about when I think of summertime is the sun. You can keep it simple. So for my sun, I'm just going to draw the circle and I'm going to draw the sun rays. Remember, you're an artist, so you can draw whatever you want above your cat's head. There you go. 
I am done with part one of this Paw Play Cat project. We'll finish it up next week by outlining and coloring. Wasn't that fun? All right, kids, remember, this was part one of our Paw Clay Cat and Bird art project. We're going to finish it up next week. So what I would like for you to do in the meantime is take a good picture of your work and send it to your art teacher on Seesaw. If you have any questions at all, ask your art teacher. They're more than happy to help you in any way they can. All right, I gotta go, but I'll see you next week. Stay safe, be well, see you later. Bye, everyone.